Today we're in Chicago's iconic West Loop neighborhood for Little Goat Diner. Couple of Sandos, glad you guys are here. Yeah, and we also want to do a shout out today for, uh, this is a donation shout out to Robert Johnson. Once again, Ooh. we would not be able, this show is like almost fully funded by you guys, so huge, huge thank you. Robert donated $40 to this channel. If you guys are interested in doing that, getting a shout out, giving us uh, a little donation to help out the channel. We've got our Venmo, and also our PayPal is linked all the, uh, below, and Venmo's just at number six with cheese. So thank you guys all for your support, and um, let's get to the food, huh? Robert, my nemesis. <laughs> yeah, that's my right. Nemesis. If you're Uncle not on Rob. Patreon, you're missing out on a lot of uh, good smack talking from Robert Johnson, old Shawnee boy. <laughs> Robert, glad you're here, glad you guys are here. Let's go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. All right, you guys, a couple of things from Little Goat Diner acquired in that bag. Jump cut. What the f*** does she know about cameras? All right, let's take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, I got me the patty melt. Let's see what we got here. That bread looks delicious. Rye bread. We've got a burger. Maybe just to get the side view. Ooh. Uh, pickles, burger, uh, onions, cheese, and then there's also a special sauce in there. It's looking quite delicious. It looks amazing. It sure does. And then I went with something I've never had before, a uh, tonkatsu, which is a Japanese fried pork cutlet sandwich. This is uh, looking real good. Their presentation at Little Goat is no joke. That is absolutely gorgeous. Very appropriately wearing a sauce is life shirt. I flung sauce all over my shirt and hat. So cool. Nice job, Sean. Okay, here we go. Little Goat Diner. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, very good patty milk. Excellent. Wow. Speaking of common. I want to top notch. Whoa! Yeah, it's top, top notch patty melt. Top notch. This is so good. Cheese is perfectly melted on it. The rye bread is perfectly toasted. And the hamburger is delicious. Yeah, that thing looks insane. This is such a unique, I mean, obviously the pork cutlet is cooked perfectly, but it's got that like kind of vinegary, the kimchi cabbage -y feel to it, like mm -hmm. accents the crisp, like the crispiness of this pork really well. This is like unlike a flavor I've had in a long, this is weird. It's very colorful. Yeah. The one thing I have in my head the whole time I'm eating this though, this is an $18 patty melt. Way too expensive. <laughs> Insanity. Sitting here, I'm watching its praises, but I'm also like, I think I've had patty melts just as good that are $10. Mm, yeah. It's not the like, I mean the cheese is great, but I'm not really getting a ton of the special sauce, so it's not like super unique in any mm. way that it, like really justifies an $18 no. patty melt. No. It's good. It's also, we're in the West Loop. Yeah. If you're not from Chicago, the Wesley prices are jacked up a little bit. Kind of goes with the territory. Yeah, a lot of people say it's like one of the best restaurant rows in the country, but you're, you're paying for it, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Also home to Oshaval, mm -hmm. The Loyalist, like some great burger spots. I mean, the list goes on and on. This is like How, so good. Yeah, the slapping. It's so good and so weird. I can't even do it. It's so, so weird. It's got that <laughs> Asian like slop flavor that is just like... Yeah, that kimchi does yeah, that. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's a different thing. This might sound like a shameless plug and whatever it can be. It kind of needs like something to mm. offset it. I didn't even think about putting that on here. Like I obviously love our hot sauce. Any hot sauce, if they had like a table hot sauce or a, a homemade one there, like a house made sauce, it needs like a little bit of heat to offset how vinegary it is. So I could see that. It's just a little too acidic. I don't know what the word is. I'm not a culinary genius. <laughs> <laughs> or Nor do I have basic training. <laughs> yeah, see that's better. <laughs> We're those people though that we think hot sauce makes literally everything better. <laughs> I just think it enhances. It does. Mmm, mmm, mmm. On a patty melt, it might, good. It might not be better than anything but a patty melt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> patty melts are genius. They're just like, oh, you guys all like grilled cheese? You want it to be better? I know. I'm like, yeah, duh. Mm -hmm. I do. They really do use a lot of cheese in the in a really great way. Mm -hmm. I'm in heaven though. This is great. So you're definitely going there for like a special occasion mm -hmm. or you just make more money day to day than we do. I think yours is more justified too. Just based out of uniqueness. It is unique. You're not getting that sandwich anywhere else. This I feel like I can kind of get somewhere. I mean this right. is really done like perfectly well. Right. So you know that's you're kind of paying for that I guess but. It was really hard going through that menu and choosing an item because there were so many things I wanted. 
I just went super weird in something I've never had before. Yeah. That's kind of how I decided. I don't know. I think it's I'd be different look. day to day if I went there and dined in. I'd probably be seeing, I'm, I'm a big lurker. I look at what other people got mm -hmm. around me in the restaurant and then I go, ooh, what's that? And I look it up on the menu and sometimes I'll make my decision just based off of lurking on people. It sounds kind of- It's all about visuals. It really is. It's like Rick Malnati told us in that truck video. You eat with your eyes. Mm -hmm. the eating is very visual. Guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. We do these Monday through Thursday, sometimes bonus videos on Friday for everybody. But if you're a Patreon, you always get Friday videos. But how about after you guys like this video for a comment today, what is a kind of like normal comfort food sandwich that you wouldn't mind spending a little bit more money on if it was done up right? Like a patty melt would be a great answer. Like that's kind of an easy, cheap sandwich. But if it's- I don't agree with you, but <laughs> I, 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 I need it to be known. Let me state it for that. Yeah. I don't agree that a patty melt is worthy of being $18, even if it's done right. Because I know there's a thousand people right there who um, have diners. Diners have been perfecting the patty True. melt for mm -hmm. years. So if there's a thousand places that can do it perfect for seven dollars. Right, right. Um, I don't know if that justifies, so I just, I don't <laughs> want to get wrapped up in your Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'd like a statement, yeah. yeah. What is a sandwich that if it was done insanely well, like just even better ingredients, whatever, what's a sandwich you love so much that you wouldn't mind zhuzhed up a little bit? Uh, comment that here today, and then we'll also comment and chat with you guys uh, throughout the day. Or maybe it's just this patty melt. Yeah. Because they didn't do anything special to it, because when you say zhuzhed up, yeah. my thought is like, well, like the loyalists, like burgers, there's, you can have a burger and then have it like done where it's insane. I know. And that true. I'll spend extra for because loyalists, this wasn't done insane. This tasted like similar enough oh, okay, yeah. to like almost every great patty melt. We're like the yeah. loyalist. You never bite into the loyalist burger and are like, oh yeah, this is similar to burgers I've had in other places. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That defies like the way, the tenderness, the onions, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah so it's done to your, different. To, to your point, people might be able to make a patty melt in a way that yeah. they do zhuzh it up. This was not very zhuzh. This was standard. But standard juice. Standard, but done well. Yeah, okay, I like that answer. Comment yours below, uh, or maybe even just something you've spent a lot on that was worth it for you, that was like a basic item, like mm -hmm. a burger, a hot dog, or a sandwich, whatever. Absolutely delicious, though, overall. I got this other half I'm gonna absolutely smash later. I feel like I could probably microwave for like 10 seconds and then air fry for like a minute and really get that good. I don't know why this turned into what I'm gonna do later with the leftovers. No one cares. Nobody cares, Sean. Nobody cares. I get freaked out with buns. You gotta be so careful. They get a little sappy. You gotta be so, so careful. You can't go full uh, full microwave and you can't go full air fryer with mm -hmm. them. One's too soft and, and drooly, yeah. and one's too um, too hard. Mm -hmm. And it's you can't revive it. Do you wanna rate that now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do uh, out of five, who's the GOAT of NFL football of all time? The greatest. Oh, Barry Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> All right, out of five Barry Sanders, how many Barry I'm Sanders? I'm not biased. Not at all. <laughs> uh, how many Barry Sanders do you give your patty melt you had here today from Little Goat Diner, about 18 bucks and some change, Corey? I just have to be honest, it's Tom Brady. It's not Barry Sanders? It's not Barry Sanders, <laughs> it's Tom Brady. <laughs> but it's our show, I like that you had to be honest. That was oh. fine, to, okay. Yeah, he's up there. <laughs> yeah, he's the guy. Okay, what's um, your score? <laughs> the patty melt was excellent. It didn't have, a, it said that there was special sauce in there, but mm. I always feel like special sauce brings unique flavor, and I, I don't know, maybe the special sauce just mixed in so well with patty melt. Right. Mm. I didn't really, I didn't get that. I didn't get the special sauce. Everything else about it was perfect, but that freaking price, dude, I literally can't get over an $18 patty melt. That's just way Way, way, way too much. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. Man, that really brings it down because I feel like you can go so many places and get a just better or an as good one. I, I, I'll go with the three. Still good. Yeah. I think you gave a really good point about my sandwich earlier, which is because it's a little more unique and you can't get that places, I don't, the price doesn't hurt yeah, that for me as exactly, much. Exactly, yeah. Because I have no reference point of what a tonkatsu yeah, There were a cost. bunch of diners <laughs> making tonkatsu yeah, yeah. for five bucks. <laughs> right. I'd probably be like, ah, I'm overpaid. Then probably. I would be a little upset. You can't get that anywhere, you know? I've never had that type of a sandwich, and now, like, if I ever see a tonkatsu on a menu, I'm going to be very intrigued because the first one I ever had was so good. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've had that. The Japanese style pork cutlet, uh, the way they cooked it, it was double layered. Layered, so it was really good. That uh, sauce was great. I will say it needed a little bit of something else to bring it down. It's a little too heavy in that vinegary, like you know, that kimchi flavor. I was getting a little too much of that. I think that's why I'm off the kimchi. Yeah, chain. all yeah. the kimchi's do that to me. It's a strong flavor, so yeah. I should have known that going in. Um, I thought that was so solid, though. Like one of my favorite sandwiches I've had in the West Loop. I'm going 4.25. Oh, I'm really, I'm really, really, that's really a fun, unique one. It's a really unique one. The only thing off is that, like, if I got that to go by myself. 
with fees would be over twenty dollars for a sandwich. Ooh, no side. Ooh. You know what I mean? Imagine delivery. Don't want to. Imagine getting a don't want to a thirty-five dollar delivered sandwich. God, no that's fries. always a tough Whoa, thing, man. Like you go, you go to get a small amount of food, and it's like with all the fees and delivery, it's thirty something dollars. You're like, I'm just not gonna eat. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, guys, we'll chat in the comments about your favorite item that you don't mind spending a little bit more money on if it's done really, really, really well, maybe at a fancy place or something. And we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video, another local spot here in Chicago. Thanks for rocking with us. See you very soon. Barry Sanders is, is the goat. I don't care.